Well, welcome back to Core Farms. On this episode, we are going to do something a little bit different. Uh, you will see the bank balance has dropped. I have got the field leasing mod turned on, and I have leased this forage harvester, and I have leased field 10 over the road, which has got corn in it. So I plan to forage that to make silage over in the bunker there. I am hoping, because the field costs 37500 to lease, plus the lease cost for this, I'm hoping we're going to make at least 45000 income, which I expect we should. But yeah, that's the plan. We're going to um, essentially do that and get some good old corn silage out of the field. Well, best head over. Now with any luck, this won't take too long, which will be good. The last episode was a bit shorter than I would have expected. Uh, once I did the time lapsing and the cutting, I hadn't realised how short that was going to be, so we could have done a bit longer. But this one, I am not certain how long it's going to be. I'm not sure what our next job is going to be yet. I do want to expand the farm a little bit, so that is certainly part of today's plan. Right, now I assume we get in here. Ooh, interesting, I thought that was the gate, but it's not just a hole. Right, well, I'm going to make a start. Oh, I want that to go down. There we go. You will see that the uh, salvage bunker has a gaping hole in the middle and a trailer that has got some chaff in it still. It turns out that the way I've put this bunker in because of the 90 degree angles, I manually rotated it in the XML file to the position it's currently in. It doesn't seem to like that. So whilst I own all the land, it doesn't seem to want to unload in that area. So that's a bit of a problem. I am going to have to go out and tweak this and see if I can fix it. Ideally in the same position, but if not, 
it'll have to be rotated to a different angle. So yeah, a bit of an issue. I have 119,737 litres of chaff here. I am going to use easy enough to convert that straight to silage because I can't store it anywhere else. I am going to put the 352 litres that is in the bunker back into the bunker if I can get that resolved. If not, Again, I will convert that to silage and put it into the storage bin. And then we will have to address this issue at a later point. So, yeah, a bit of a technical hiccup that I wasn't expecting today. So I'm going to go on fiddle around, play with this, and then once that's all hopefully sorted, I will get back and we will resume the next part of this episode. Right, well, I have managed to find a bunker set that I've put in. I don't particularly like this one because it's clipping out the edges. Um, I've also had to put something around the front, the rear and the side to try and stop the clipping from going even further out the air walls. So it's not ideal. I have got the 350,000 litres back in there. So we will let this ferment as it should. And then once it's empty, I will then look at um, putting a more suitable one in. But this was the best I could get that would fit the same angle in the same location today. Right, anyway. Back to the uh, normal programming. So we have the corn silage done. I have no other plans currently because that was unexpected. I also didn't get to film too much of it because the auto drive and cosplay wouldn't function, partly because of the bunker not working as expected. So yeah, I need to find out what we're doing next. Now, my plan was to get some animals. That is still my plan. I will correct the bank balance when I review the footage to find out what I started with. Sorry, what I ended with before putting the new bunker in. But for now, we'll have to have a look at this. I'll take note of this bank balance as well, and then obviously clearly offset things accordingly. So, cow-wise, I think we start hmm. We start young. We don't start producing milk till 18 months. Yeah, I, I think we start with these first and then um, we can work out the rest. Obviously can't afford 50 at the minute, but I also don't want 50, so we'll put in 25. I might also put a few. It'll be everyone's in. But not 25. We'll put 10 of them in. Right, so. We now have cows. I've already put a bit of food in, not much, and a bit of bedding. So that should tie them over until. We get properly turned around. So yeah, we now have pets. Next thing's next. I think there are some 
cultivating or seeding contract, so we might do one of them next. I have a very small cultivator, so we will use that. There we go. Right, well, this will take some time. Well, that's that contract all nice and complete, which is fantastic. It took a little while, but all in all, nicely done.
Right. Now, looking at the recording time, by the time I compress this into maybe a time lapse or two, I think we have time for one more job if it's remotely interesting. If not, I think we'll send it here. Now, I did plan to do some um, field purchasing on this episode, but because I've muddled with the bank balance and salvage pit, we will have to wait till next time for that. Right, so I will put my uh, cultivator back where it was before, hidden. So next time I need it, just remind me, this is where it is. Right, so after looking at the contracts, there's nothing that takes my fancy, and I think on that note, we will leave it there with this as our screenshot. So, for those who have been watching, thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.